Good morning, dear students. Today, we are going to study about handling data. Before we begin with this, let us know what is data. Data, the collection of all the observations, which means the collected information is called data. Data handling, the process of gathering, recording and presenting information in a way that is helpful to others. For instance, graphs or charts. So, the process of collecting, recording and presenting information in such a manner that it is helpful to others is called data handling. We can represent the information with the help of graphs or charts. There are different types of graphs. Today we are going to learn about pictograph. The word pictograph itself gives us a hint. Picto means pictures. Therefore, a pictograph uses pictures or symbols to show numbers and represent information. Let's see an example. In this pictograph, we can see the names of the villages, that is village A, B, C, D and E. And the number of tractors that are there in each village. Here, the picture of a tractor is used to represent information. Let's learn more about pictograph. Parts of pictograph. There are four parts of a pictograph. First, title. Second, symbols. Third, key. Fourth, labels. Title. Every pictograph should have a title that fits the data. Let's understand with the pictograph given below. In this pictograph, the title is mentioned on the top. That is, sports played by third graders. The title helps us to know that what this pictograph is all about. Next, we have symbols. Pictographs have symbols or pictures to represent the data. In this pictograph, we can see that the information is represented with the help of a picture of a ball. Next is key. Pictographs have a key to show what each symbol or picture represents. It is very important to look at the key and determine how many pieces each symbol represents. We need to be very careful because not every picture or symbol represents one. In the pictograph given below, we can see the key is mentioned at the bottom. Each ball is equal to 10 students. The last part of a pictograph is labels. Let's see the second row. In the second row, we can see there are five balls. Since each ball represents 10 students, so 5 into 10, 50 students. And the label that is baseball helps us to know that 50 students love to play baseball. Therefore, labels helps us to know what this data is telling us about. Let's understand pictograph with more questions. Read the data and then answer the following questions. So let's look at the pictograph first. We can see the title on the top, that is books sold in a week. The key, which is a very important part of a pictograph. One picture of this book represents one book. Let's go ahead with the questions. How many books were sold on Monday? 
Let's count the number of books that were sold on Monday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, 6 books were sold on Monday. Dear students, you need to be very careful while you are writing your answer. You need to write the complete answer that is 6 books and not just 6. Because if you write 6, 6 is just a number. But when you write 6 books, you are telling us that there are 6 books that were sold on Monday. So please make sure that you give us the complete answer and not just the number. Let's go to the second question. On which day was the maximum number of books sold? So again going back to our pictograph, we can see that on Wednesday the maximum number of books were sold. What is the total number of books that were sold on Monday, Wednesday and Thursday? On Monday, there were 6 books that were sold. Wednesday, 8 books. And Thursday, 4 books. So adding them up all together, we get 18 books. 6 plus 8 plus 4 is equal to 18 books. Next, how many more books were sold on Saturday than Tuesday? Since we are comparing these two days, we are going to do subtraction here. So Saturday, 7 books were sold and on Tuesday, 5 books were sold. So 7 minus 5, that is 2 books. Next, how many books were sold in a week? So to know that how many books were sold in a week, we need to add all of them together. That is... 6 books on Monday plus 5 books on Tuesday plus 8 books on Wednesday plus 4 books on Thursday plus 4 books on Friday plus 7 books on Saturday which is equal to 34 books. So 34 books were sold in a week. Last question. What is the title of this pictograph? As we know the title is mentioned on the top of the pictograph. So, we can see the title that is Books Sold in a Week. Next question. In this pictograph, we get the information about the ways of getting to school. Bus, car, cycle on foot. So, one picture of this student represents two students. So let's read the data and then answer the questions given below. First question, how many students use the bus? Let's count the number of students shown in the pictograph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 pictures there. But since we know 1 student picture is equal to 2 students. So 7 into 2 is equal to 14. Hence 14 students. How many students use the car? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 into 2 that is equal to 8 students. Next we see is how many students use the cycle. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 into 2 because 1 picture is equal to 2 students. So 6 into 2 is equal to 12 students. So, 12 students come to school by cycle. And the last is how many students come on foot? So, we can see there are 3 pictures there. 1, 2, 3. So, 3 into 2 that is 6. Hence, 6 students come on 
foot. The last question says, maximum number of students come by dash. So, we know the maximum number of students come by bus. Let's see another. Oh, favorite cake. So, we have vanilla, chocolate, strawberry and red velvet. And when we see the key, we find out that one cake is equal to four children. So, let's read the data and then answer the following questions. First question, one picture of a cake stands for how many children? Four. Second question, which is the most favorite cake? is the most favorite cake that is vanilla next question how many children like strawberry cake so when we see the row for strawberry we see that there is a picture of a cake and there is a picture of a cake which is not complete so one complete picture of a cake and the second picture is half of that cake since one cake is equal to four children, so half of a cake will be equal to two children. Half of four, two. So how many children like strawberry cake? Four plus two. That is six children. One complete cake and one cake which is half. So four plus half of four that is two. So four plus two six children next how many more children like red velvet cake than chocolate since we are comparing so we are going to do subtraction so red velvet cake let's see it first so how many children like red velvet cake there are three pictures of a cake so three into four that is 12 so 12 students love red velvet cake and chocolate cake only one picture is there so that means 4 so 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 children next which is the least favorite cake so when we see we can find out that chocolate is the least favorite cake so our answer is chocolate cake next what is the total number of children who like vanilla and red velvet cake? So for vanilla, if we see, there are, there are three cakes which are complete and there is one cake which is half. So 3 into 4, 12 plus half of 4, that is 2. So 12 plus 2 is 14. So 14 children love vanilla cake and red velvet that is three pictures of a cake so three into four twelve so on adding 14 plus 12 we get 26 children so now do you understand that how much important this key is let's do this is a pictograph where we are going to know about how many tractors are there in each village. So again, the key says one picture of a tractor is equal to one tractor. So how many tractors are there in village A? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tractors. Question number two. How many tractors are there in village E? Let's count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 tractors. Question number 3. Which village has maximum number of tractors? So when once we check all the villages, we find out that village C has maximum number of tractors. Question number 4. Which village has least number of tractors so we can see that village d has least number of tractors question 5 how many more 
more tractors are there in village C than village E. Since we are comparing, so we are going to do subtraction. So village C, how many tractors are there? 8 and village E, we are having 6. So 8 minus 6, which is equal to 2 tractors. Question number 6. How many tractors are there in village A, village C and village D all together? So we need to add the number of tractors in village A, village C and village D. Village A has 6 tractors. Village C has 8 tractors and village D has 3 tractors. So 6 plus 8 plus 3 is equal to 17 tractors. So the answer is 17 tractors. Question number 7. Which two villages have same number of tractors? So on checking it up, we find out that village A also have six tractors and village E also have six tractors. So the answer is village A and village E. Another question. So the title for this pictograph is cars sold by a company. And the key tells us that picture one car represents five cars. So the picture of one car represents five cars. So let's read the data and answer the following questions. First, how many cars were sold on Tuesday? Let's count the number of cars that were sold on Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we know that our key tells us that one picture of a car is equal to 5. So 8 into 5 is 40. So how many cars were sold on Tuesday? 40 cars were sold on Tuesday. Next question. On which day were the maximum number of cars sold? As we see through our pictograph, we find out that on Tuesday the maximum number of cars were sold. Next question. How many cars were sold on Monday and Thursday altogether? So let's again read our pictograph. On Monday we can see there are 4 cars. So 4 into 5, 20. So that means 20 cars were sold on Monday. And Thursday there are 5 cars, so it means 5 into 5, that is 25 cars. So 20 cars plus 25 cars is equal to 45 cars. Next, how many more cars were sold on Tuesday than Wednesday? Again, since we are doing comparison here, so we are going to do subtraction. So on Tuesday, let's see on Tuesday how many cars were sold. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 into 5 is 40 cars and on Wednesday we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 into 5, 30. So 40 minus 30 is equal to 10 cars. Thank you students. I hope you were able to understand pictograph well. Keep practicing.